So what is AI? The short answer that chat GPT helped me write is that AI are computer systems that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. And these aren't just computer systems with your traditional if else logic. I'm talking about tasks like image recognition, such as cancer detection from a CT scan or, or facial recognition. Um, it give me an example. A couple of months ago, I had a meeting with a, a Chinese colleague and our meeting was running late and she was running out the door. She gave me a little red box and said something about a moon festival. I had no idea what she said because she was in a huge hurry to get out to another meeting. Um, and I didn't get a chance to, to ask her. And since the box only contained Chinese characters on it, I had no idea what it was. So I pulled up my phone to the Google Translate app and I pointed it at it. It had a live, live image and instantaneously overlaid uh, English text onto that image. You know, this is amazing technology that's happened um, in the last few years. And it's a good example of AI. AI also encompasses speech recognition technologies such as uh, Siri and Alexa. Um, and then we move to more advanced areas such as natural language processing and generative content. And I wanna stop on the last two points here because these are the game changers. Um, this entire slide was generated with AI, the text, the image, the slide layout, all of it through natural language processing, meaning me giving Chad GBT and Midjourney a prompt it understanding what I'm saying, and then generating new text and images from that prompt. Think about that for a moment. For the text, I asked it three words, what is AI? For the image, I asked it to create a smiling middle-aged research administrator that looks like the Terminator. Then PowerPoint suggested a, a slide layout that would blend the content and image and template together seamlessly. This slide took about three minutes to create and all of it's original, meaning you'll never find this exact content anywhere unless somebody steals it from me. And in terms of potential productivity increases, this technology is absolutely amazing. And before we descend further down this AI discussion, let's, let's just get some vocabulary out of the way. When we talk about AI, historically, we're discussing this all-encompassing generalized definition that I gave you from the last slide. But now when you hear people talk about AI, they're usually just talking about ChatGPT, but there's really a lot more than that to AI. You may have also heard the term machine learning. And this is a subset of AI. And this is probably the simplest form of AI in which you feed an algorithm data and it can adapt and learn from that data without explicitly being programmed or told how to get from point A to point B. Think of Netflix or the Spotify recommendation system. You feed it your data specifically by watching a movie and giving it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And by doing this, you're training a machine learning algorithm to pick movies, songs, and genres that you will like. We're doing some machine learning here at Illinois uh, to determine workload complexity, where we, we feed an algorithm training data that our staff have marked up, and then we can give it any award and get back a complexity score. So if we go further down this AI rabbit hole, we're we start talking about deep learning or artificial neural networks. And these are built on the concept of artificial neurons, meaning they're mimicking the way the human brain works. This is a subset of machine learning that requires less human training, but it does need a lot more data, much, much longer training periods and much more computer computing power. But it is more accurate and it can make nonlinear complex decisions. ChatGPT falls within this subset and it's the most advanced subset of AI we're focusing on. To give you an idea of how much computing power these things need, ChatGPT supposedly costs $100 million to train and about $700,000 a day just in computing resources to run. 